Hey Aquas, welcome to Vivid Vibration. My name is Christina. I hope that y'all are doing well. Aquas, <laughs> we have the Mystic and the Gnosis, the Warrior Anima Mundi, and the Maiden. <sighs> Aquas, I don't know, like, so <laughs> the image of like watching a movie with somebody and it's like they've already watched the movie and they know what's happening next. And you don't. And then you watch the movie and everything makes sense. That's what this feels like. Like, like somebody knew something that you didn't know and it irritated you. I don't know what that is exactly, but I get the feeling that it's just somebody who has a very, who's very insightful, who's very understanding. It could be somebody who's a little bit older than you. Um, I'm not necessarily age doesn't always have anything to do with maturity or awareness. Um, so, you know, like take or resonates and leave the rest. But I mean, in all reality, like what this feels like is somebody who has like a deep knowing, a deep understanding, and they have an understanding that you don't, or you're on the other side of the story, but either way, like it's frustrating. Um, because I feel like the idea is like, well, it takes all the fun out of like exploring. Like, I don't want to watch that with you. You already know the end type of thing. Like, I want to see it with somebody who can enjoy it with like a fresh set of eyes. That's what this feels like. Let's do some clarifiers because obviously like that's, <sighs> Aquas. I love y'all. <laughs> I always get the, the most random Sorry, let's get my books out to stack my, put my stand on. <laughs> um, okay, Aquas, what do you have for y'all? <sighs> the High Priestess, the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. I really do kind of get the feeling that there's an idea here of you or the other person, take it out resonates, but it's kind of like playing catch up. And I want to say that at one point in time during this interaction, it was really frustrating. And I almost feel like now that you see everything for what it is, you're not as frustrated by it. I think if anything, you feel more comforted. You feel like, okay, well, this is somebody who has insight. This is somebody who has awareness. This is somebody who has understanding. This is somebody who practices that. And instead of feeling put off by that, I think you feel turned on by that. You know, it's like, wait a second. So if I want to be in a relationship with somebody who at minimum is, at, is where I'm at, you know, not 10 steps ahead, not 10 steps behind, but it's where I'm at, um, you know, then like, then I want somebody who's going to be practicing awareness. I want somebody who's going to, um, you know, like have that deeper understanding. And instead of being triggered by that understanding, I think again, that you're, you're like, oh, wow, that is, that's invaluable. That's something that like you can really explore when you are prepared for exploration right? Like, <laughs> and I feel like, again, the idea of like the magnet flipping is almost like that, like you were put off by it, but then for whatever reason, now you see this person and their awareness and their understanding and their knowledge is something that's invaluable instead of irritating. <sighs> okay. Aquas. <laughs> See what else we can get for y'all. Oh my goodness, we got cards. <sighs> yeah, I do feel like you kind of had to take a step back from this person for a while. I do feel like they're like this is just like a continuation of the previous read, but I mean, the two of cups is the idea of like separation, but like two people who know that they that. Like at some point in time, they'll come back together, but like now is not that time and feeling like 
confusion about it. Like, when will the time be? And is it ever going to happen? And, you know, like, is it even right? And, you know, like, having to, I want to say, like, stay, like, find strength in self-sustaining, right? Find strength in, in figuring some things out along the way that you needed to know in order to, I want to say, attain a level of balance this person had that really like agitated you for whatever reason. And now I feel like with this new understanding, you're really ready to go for, I feel like it's a relationship. It could be a job. It could be, you know, like any number of things. So take it how it resonates. But I feel like whatever it is that you were put off by, you were put off by it because it felt like there was an element of it that made you feel somehow inferior and frustrated. And then once you were able to really like gain the insight and understanding that this person had, I think that any like sense of inferiority like leaves you because I think anytime like any of us are learning, we, we struggle, right? I mean, like <laughs> you don't see a little kid fall over and then just say, Oh, I'm never going to try and walk again. No, like we just keep going at it. And I feel like you found the strength to keep going at something um, almost to like prove that I feel like there's an idea of like, I'm going to prove this person wrong. I'm going to find the flaws in their theories. I'm going to, you know what I mean? Um, because again, there's this idea of being very triggered, but then I feel like the more you uncover, the more you understand, the less triggered you are and the more attracted you are. The magnet flipped. Okay. <laughs> Aquas. Let's see what else we can get for y'all. everyone is doing well. <laughs> okay. Aquas. The chariot, the queen of swords, the nine of swords, the ten of wands, and the seven of cups. Yeah, because I do, I kind of feel like you were, you were feeling burdened by, you know, like not a lack of understanding. Like I don't, I don't know where this person is coming from, but they are coming at me with some massive things. And there's so much there that it feels overwhelming, burdensome, and very confusing and triggering. But once you get it, I feel like you want to, you want to come in with this wealth of knowledge. And I want to say express this like fullness of understanding that you have and, and a desire to move forward with this person in a way that you'd previously, I want to say, just like full on refused to do, um, you know, because you were irritated because you needed time to just like figure it out because they were coming at you with such massive concepts that it was like, like you needed to break down each concept individually before you could really make sense of it all. Right. And that was, a, that was, it was irritating until it was relieving and it, and I do feel like there is like a very strong sense of like respect, you know, like, I mean, the judge is the idea of like, you can't be an impartial judge. And I, I almost feel like the, like you looked at this person, like they were, you know, they were an impartial judge. They, you know, like they made an exception for themselves and their circumstances, but nobody else. And I, and I kind of feel like like once you get the full picture of everything, you're like, oh shit, this person wasn't being impartial. This person wasn't doing any of the things that I thought that they were doing. And I feel like you, you resented them. And now that resentment has turned to respect. And I love that Aquas. Uh, I hope this resonates with y'all. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Please give me a like, share, and subscribe if it does. And I will see y'all again soon. Bye.